Hey yo! What's going on, everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington, and this video we are talking about the new DLC, the Race Stunt Creator, or the Stunt Race Creator. Excuse me. All right, this is a long video, guys. All right, this is a long video. Remember my CEO tutorial video that was about 15, 16 minutes long as well. This video is pretty long, but stick with me. It's got a lot of information here, a lot of stuff that can help out. So definitely just hang in there. I, I take you from the very beginning all the way to the end on how to create a stunt race and how to make it look cool. I mean, I just do a real quick rough draft. But uh, definitely stick with me. I, I think I answer pretty much all the questions. If not, you know, you can leave a comment down below and uh, ask me, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do our best to answer it for you guys. With that being said, make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game, and make sure you smash—I mean, smash, smash that like button. And we're about to get right into it now. So here we go. We're gonna talk about the very, very beginning, all the way to the end. Okay. Okay. So here we go. So while you're, if you're online or whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter. You, what, what you want to do is you want to hit your options button on your controller, okay? Then you want to go to online. You can do it from single player, from online, it doesn't matter. And go on down to creator. Now once you're in creator, just like you were going to make a regular race or a death match, all right, and this, my method will work for all races, not just stunt races, but this is pretty much the same thing you do for creating really anything in here. All right, so it loads you up into the creator kind of like world or, or sub server menu or whatever. And then you have your creator menu right here. You have create a death match, raise, capture, last team standing, load creation. You can exit the GTA online or exit to uh, single player mode. So you just want to go to create a race and then you want to go on down to stunt race. That's the new option right there. So you highlight stunt race, you select that, and then it, lo it loads up the stunt race kind of world. Then you have your race creator menu. You get your race details, your placement, all that stuff right there. Now, first things first, let's go through all the different props, okay? All the different types of stuff that we have. We have all these tubes you can make. You can make them all different kind of colors and stuff like that. I'm going to go through all this. Now, this is going to eat up a good bit of time. If you're not interested in this or whatever, you can kind of fast forward a little bit through the video. But I do think it's important to kind of show you guys everything that's available, what it looks like. You know the categories and things like that you can adjust you know the, the way the pitch the yaw uh, which is kind of like the angles and things like that how you can adjust it to where it moves and stuff and you can build these anywhere in the map you can you know up, I mean look where I'm at. I'm up in the air above the water you know you can go over land and stuff like that and some of these you know the inside we all know from the races that we've been doing they have these cool little animations or little you know kind of like stunt tricks or you know, uh, barriers or whatever, or, or obstacles that you have to get through. And this is kind of what they look like. You can pick which ones you want, you know, double little gates and stuff like that, or just nothing in there. You have like the boost uh, tube where it has like the, the little boost, um, uh, little uh, like turbo arrows or whatever. You can use that right there, the turbo, the tube speed boost <laughs> prop or whatever. So I wanted to show you basically all this different stuff that goes in there. I mean, there, there, there is a galaxy of options that you can, you know, build these with. You can make your whole entire race nothing but tubes. You can make it all track. It can be on the ground, partly in the water. I mean, all over the place. It's really, really cool. I mean, right now I'm just showing you just a few things, you know. Uh, these are the blocks that you can, you can make these walls. You can make them huge platforms. I use these in mine as like huge platforms to race on top of and stuff like that. And they, they, they go by, by grid size. So three wide, four long, one wide, five long, you know. And they get very, very large. This one's like 9 by 11, 9 by 21. And it goes up like, you know, 18 by whatever. And they, they're very, very large platforms. I like these are really good and kind of like this generic building blocks. You, can, you know, you can use these for a lot of different things, which is pretty cool. I like this. So, I mean, once again, this is a really good, people are kind of like downplaying this update. They think it's uh, we're not getting any cars or guns or whatever. But this is really, really cool. I enjoy building this stuff. It's kind of like a GTA version of like Minecraft kind of. Uh, so I enjoy building. I, I've built a lot of races, a lot of death matches, stuff like that. I think it's really, really fun. So this just gives us a whole nother like world or options of different stuff we can use. And now we're moving on to the different kind of ramps. Um, and once again, you can use the ramps for you know anything. You can you can you know flip them around by switching the world. See where it says uh, rotation type down below. I'll show you that later. But where it says rotation type, you can like switch the uh, the yaw and the pitch. You can make them. Uh, you can do wall rides with them. They actually have props that are designed just for wall rides, which I'll show you that as well. You have huge like stunt wraps and things like that. I mean, there's everything that we've seen in the races already. Um, 
you know, you're you're able to use. And and in the background, you see what my stunt race looks like. It's just like a rough draft or whatever, just to show you guys. And I'll go into me actually building that and get kind of, you know, sometimes this is a this is kind of a tedious task. It took me about 20, 30 minutes to actually build it just by using the props and stuff like that. So it takes a little bit of time if, you know, this is nothing. This is just a little quick little uh, point to point race I built just to kind of show you guys you know what was going on with it but it does take some time so you want to set aside a little bit of time so you can kind of get the hang of it because it is kind of hard to maneuver this stuff you know you look at your bottom screen right there you got your adjustments where you can go left to right and, and switch things up you have your zoom l2 r2 you have your rotate which is l1 r1 which will rotate the actual prop or the object you got the height you have to smash in your l3 or r3 button and it raises or lowers the actual prop how high it can go up in the air you can switch your camera. That's mainly when you're testing, I believe, or other. You can switch it to where you get right down on the ground, so you have a better look of it, which is kind of cool. You got fast zoom, so while you're holding the zoom button, you can hold triangle as well, and it like quickly zoom you to the area. And you got your back, and then X, you know, places the actual property object. So yeah, I mean, it gives you. You just have to kind of get used to it if you've never done this before. If you've built races before, death matches, you kind of have a hang for it already. Um, but this kind of shows you they they've they've eliminated a lot of, i mean in one of the previous updates they allowed you to stack your props which really helped out you know it makes it to where you can you know put stuff on top of other things without the game kind of going crazy because before it would like kind of glitch out and stuff and it, it was really lame but now you can like just smash props together and stuff like that it's really really cool it gives you a lot more options you know you can build a really i i, I can't wait i want to build an awesome like nascar track it'll be so much fun i, I can guarantee you there'll be some really cool nascar like circuits and stuff like that um, so this is be, this should be really really fun. Uh, so I mean, you, like I said, you have a galaxy of options. You have starting grids you can use that have like the little um, you know finish and start line. I mean, it's really really cool. It's already pre-made for you. I mean, we have everything now. So I really am going to enjoy this coming up soon. This is going to eat up a whole bunch of time, but I mean, I cannot wait to play some of these guys. This is what they do. I mean, think about like the uh, the stunners versus snipers and all those different kind of like spinoffs. I mean, think about the people that we're just going to just tear into this update and build us some incredible, incredible races, incredible stunt races, incredible just like regular races. I mean, I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. So. So let's say forward to that. It's more uh, stunt track slopes. You have a 15 degree slope. You have a 45 degree slope, and so it tells you what you kind of what that looks like and the angle it and stuff like that. And you can just you just mash it in with your existing stuff and you just make it work, you know. And then you have to do a test trial as part of this to publish it or save it. And then you can see how it works. And I'm going to show you guys that later. But once again, I know it's this is we're only seven minutes and forty something seconds into it. This is a 22 minute video. Okay, so stick with me. I'm taking you from from ground zero all the way from finished project in, in our product to show you what it looks like and show you how it runs and stuff like that and we're still just going through some of the uh, the stunt tracks these are the raised tracks uh, that's, that's the actual category they're under you have like five or six new categories or whatnot I'm just going through all of them right now and just showing all the different kind of things the props that you can use I mean there's a lot of cool stuff on here um, so take advantage of this while you can, guys. I mean, you learn it, figure this out. I mean, it's really, really cool. You can make some really fun stuff. Uh, if you guys watched my broadcast last night, we did a live uh, endurance race. I built that race right there, you know, so that was pretty fun. We had a good time with that. Um, so keep that in mind. These are the different signs that we have that you can use, like, you know, like a track, like walls. Now, these walls right here, I, I use them for some of my races, but they are not forgiving. Like, if you hit those rubber barricades, you're not going anywhere. You know, <laughs> you're really not. So, but here you go. Here's when this is when you go into your race details. You can set up like you can name it your title. I put first stunt race, your description. I put hey yo, you know, you can do your default class. You can set your time of day. You can set your weather. And that's all in the description of that sub menu, which will always be there for you. Um, background music. You can allow, you can, this is pretty cool. You can allow vehicles to use their speed boost. Like the, some of the motorcycles have that curves technology, like the Electro. And uh, I forgot the name of the other one. Shit, uh, it's another motorcycle, but they've, you, you can hit that boost, and it will give you like a little speed boost. So you can actually allow people to use that, which may you know be the the difference in a race. You hit your boost while you're uh, hitting like a a, a, a tube speed uh, boost thing or whatever. At the same time, you have like a double boost that would really help out with your speed. So there's a couple of different things you can do with it. Now I'm just basically building this. I'm going from I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. I just logged on. I started messing around with it, and this is what I, this is pretty much my my end outcome. All right, so we're going through. I put a couple different things together. I wanted to use this green tube. And, uh, and you see right here, it's kind of hard to manipulate with the camera and the angles and stuff like that. R1, L1 kind of twist it left and right for you. 
and uh, you, you can which is really cool now is that you can kind of just smash it in you can just blend it into your existing prop and it really makes for a much smoother and seamless um, you know building experience because you're not always worried about being right on the right angle or whatever so I got that too, put on there in the right spot add my little spiral uh, barrel roll which is real cool you got to kind of angle it right through where you get the entrance on there good and uh, you'll see I actually messed up on that and you'll see that later you'll see uh, me uh, you know when I do the test run and then I'll show you how I fix it and make it right you know I realized that the loop was too skinny for multiple cars to go on there and stuff like that so you can adjust that because you got thick you got wide loops you got skinny ones I'm just kind of showing some of the signs right here um, but yeah so you have a whole bunch of cool different things that you can do with it and and to where you can get it to where it, it, it sets up just perfect for you just like you know the races came out in from the beginning you know with these stunt races you know rockstar they had to build these you know so they did the kind of the same thing that we're doing which is pretty cool so i set up this is kind of like tour this is like the final jump right here i'm setting up little signs on there and you can get it to where you angle it just right and uh you, you place your your props and you're good to go i put some fireworks right there this is my landing pad and you can change the color of it i wanted to put it on this rock down here i should just put it on the water but i kind of wanted to angle it like you're going to smack right into it when you fell change the color um they made it like, like a regular red bullseye or whatever but i should just put it on the water but well, you know you can always go back and fix it once you have it saved you can go back and re-edit it i added this little cool tire thing on there it's something you drive through and then I also put like some fireworks on there, but you have to kind of like, you know, work your zoom in and out so you can see where you're going. You got to angle it left and right. So you don't want to, don't want to put it to where your guys are driving right into the side of a tire. You know, you have to make it to where it's right in the, in the middle of it. <laughs> so they'll fly through it. I added a, a little fire ring, which is real cool. You know, always got to have the fire on there at night. It looks real cool. And even in the daytime, it looks fun. And the fireworks are right there. They explode as you go through it. And you'll see all that in the test run, which is pretty fun. Now keep, stick with me guys. We're halfway through it. All right. We're halfway through okay we're 11 we're 12 minutes in we're almost done <laughs> we're halfway there so you, you know you can set up your different little props right there animations and stuff like that you can add sound and so I, I didn't go into everything on here just i wanted to show you guys the basics and stuff here's one of those little turbo props right here and you can set the strength if you look down on the props menu you go down a couple options it's the speed pad intensity and you can adjust it to like um strong ultra strong weak or whatever like that and i'll show you that a little bit later as i'm building uh, the rest of the track so I add this little ramp to it right here, which is real cool. This this kind of guarantees that you're getting through those props right there. You're, you're on the track. Now, for some reason, I couldn't get it to where I could start up on top of it. I had to start down here on the ground, which I'll figure that out later. I mean, you guys, we, we can all figure that out. Uh, but it kept saying that my trigger wasn't a, it wasn't like an even surface or whatever. So I just put it on the ground. And I built a big ramp up, and I use these giant like blocks as like a platform to extend down to my uh, the, the the other part of my racetrack you know here's right here this is where I'm adjusting the world heading or the uh, rotation type so I can adjust the pitch and the yaw to angle my platform down so it's a little bit smoother on the race and you can use this for any prop which is really cool <clears throat> so you can kind of make your twist and your turns like much more dynamic now obviously most cars are going to have a hard time getting up this uh, very very steep ramp so now I'm putting in the uh, speed boost pads or whatever and as soon as you you know you you go up against the ramp, it'll 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 adjust it to where it's in the same kind of like angle. So I put a couple down at the bottom, a couple more up top. You don't want to put a whole bunch all the way up because you'll just fly right off. And you'll see me in my test race. You know I, I had to kind of make some adjustments on there because I was doing that. I was flying right off the, the track <laughs> into the water. So um because we you know we have cars now like the RE7B. You know, we got the Tyrus, the XA. These cars are ultra cars. They're not super cars. They're ultra cars, okay? I mean, these things are in a class of their own. They're extremely fast, and you can, you know, it doesn't take much to get these guys going, and they will literally fly off the track. So you have to be kind of cautious about that. So I put a couple, I zoomed out to see how, like, what my, my distance was, you know, because I want to put something, I don't, I don't want to put these too high up because then it's just, you know, it'll just fly, or fly right off the track. But I wanted to put it to where, enough to where you can get up that hill and you're not crawling or sliding back down you know what I mean so but I, I did three sets about halfway up uh, for the last one or I did four sets excuse me and uh, that was pretty much what that was to get you up the hill there so now you want to take your picture now for the, the lobby camera you have to be inside this little red bubble and this red bubble will be wherever your trigger is your trigger is one of the first things you put into the uh, and I you, you'll see that in the previous you know I showed you that uh, before but the trigger is what you have to this is kind of where everyone gathers in the race lobby 
where you're setting it up and then you, you put your checkpoints in and this is your starting grid right here the other little white circle is my trigger and you will get it get it to where it's in the yellow and then you just pop it in. you can adjust how many people you want in there up to 30 different people I just did it real quick and just made six or something like that eight or whatever and then you have to add your checkpoints you have your your race has to be a minimum of 0 0.62 miles it's 0 0.62 or 0 0.68 so just to be safe, I'd make it, you know, at least 0 0.68 or your, your race won't count. It's got to be at least that big. Uh, so that way it's, it's worth it. You know, you can't just have a tiny little track, a tiny little race. And people will spam it and, you know, just making money off it left and right. You know, and really it's just no fun. It's pointless. So I'm adding my checkpoints on here. You want to make them to where, you know, don't, don't be dumb. Don't make your checkpoints super dumb and, you know, weird. You know, just make it a nice, even, you know, a nice line. Follow your curves, your turns, and stuff like that. That's what I'm doing. Because remember, when you die, you know, you're going to spawn back at, that, uh, at, a, at a previous checkpoint or whatever or close to it. So, I mean, don't do anything dumb. You know, you can zoom in and get inside your tubes to put your checkpoints in. You'll see that in just a moment. Um... So as you get your as you get your your checkpoints set up, it's very very important to just make sure that you know just do it right. You know, be professional about it. Get it done right. You can zoom in right here. So I placed one there, and I'm going inside the tube now. Uh, you got this guy right here. It's about halfway in. You know, don't put him like up on top. You know, I mean, you can if you want. It's totally up to you. Do whatever you know. Do what you want. But you know, I like to make mine legit. Just make it you know fun for everybody. You want to put your your checkpoints in certain areas where you know it's e for the cars are easier to get to, and um, that's really it, you know. There's my fireworks right there. That that yellow bubble is where the fireworks will, will go off at, which is pretty cool. I thought. <clears throat> now I just put my finale right here on the uh, on the bullseye down there, and then I changed it to a uh, a uh, not not a lap, but it's a point to point. That way, it says you know you land on that bullseye, you're done, it's over. And you do that through your your uh, little interaction menu for the race thing. And this is what my track looks like. You know, it's not it's, it's just, just remember this is just a base model. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Yeah, this is really garbage. It does not look good at all. It's just something I want to show you guys. Now this is my very first test. All right. So I use the RE7B. Uh, the boost is working pretty good. I like that. But remember, this car is already pretty fast. So at the end right here, I wasn't really paying attention. And then bam, I, I over overflew the uh, checkpoint. And my car just went off the track. So I was like, okay, I have to adjust that. But I wanted to finish the track. You know, I wanted to just kind of slow down up top and, and see what else was messed up with it. So I like how they make you test it first. That way you're not putting out garbage. You know what I mean? And that, that's important. So I slowed down a little bit there. I still overshot the uh, checkpoint. But I went back and got it. Um, this shows you right here. This, this platform is huge. I love these platforms. It's so cool. I love how they put that in there. You, know, you can make some really cool like bull in the ring matches and stuff like that with cars. It'll be pretty fun. Uh, this checkpoint may need to be moved right here. I can adjust that at a later point. I missed it right there, so you have to kind of. I had to reverse and go back and hit it. You know, these are little. This is why you have your test, so you can kind of get an idea, a feel for your track in real time. So I go down. This checkpoint right here was perfect. Nothing wrong with it at all. It takes you right into the tube right here. This is a little uneven. See that right there? You hit that bump. That was a little uneven right there. I can adjust that later. Um, it didn't wasn't really effective, but this right here was a problem. The uh, first ramp, the first little spiral, it's too high up. See, and you can't. It, it's not going to work, you know. So I had, I knew I had to adjust that as well. So I crashed out there. I kind of just, you know, wanted to continue the race though. Got up on on the side right here. Went to the, and I also realized this is this is too skinny. It's just too skinny of a loop. So I have to adjust. That's I use a larger one right here, and that's much better. So I go through there, hit the speed boost, bam, and then you fly off and you can angle your car to hit the bullseye. And honestly, I can move the bullseye later. I, I kind of like the, the challenge right there. You have to kind of, you know, you think, oh, I've got, I've, I'm in first place, I got it. And then you're off, you know, you're off target. So you have to adjust the way you uh, hit this last ramp right here. I kind of just let off the gas a little bit and it gave me a little bit less momentum. And I was able to hit the bullseye on the mark. So I think it's kind of, you want to have a little bit of a challenge and a little bit of fun. So I knew where I had to adjust now. So we're about to go into that. I'm about to show you what that, you know, you're, you've completed the test race. You can return to your creator. If you're happy with it at this point, you can go to save and then publish. You can save it and then you can publish it for everyone on your console to play the race. So everyone in the world that has a PS4 or an Xbox will be able to play your race now. And you can add tags to it and stuff like that. So I know I had to change this loop right here. So I went into my placement. I went into my props, all that good stuff. And I changed out the uh, this 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 uh, skinny loop. I, I made a different one. I put a different color on there, and I adjusted it from that point. 
So that's very, very important that you do that. So, you know, you're not going to have a garbage race. I mean, we all know that, right? <laughs> so I go into the uh, checkpoints. I go, are the props? I uh, went to my category. I'm trying to find out where they're at here. I, I'm, I'm down. If you can see it kind of in the background, I'm just toggling through different things. And so I find it. Go to the stunt track stuff. That's not it. I'm still kind of looking around. You know, you have to kind of kind of get used to this. I should have deleted, edited this out, but whatever. It's all good. Um, and we're kind of trying to get to it here. I'm looking at this. That's not it. La di da. <laughs> and like I said, this is going to take up a lot of time. It really will. It's, it's it's kind of fun. Anyways, I found the track, and then you got to kind of like blend it in perfect. So on both ends too, on both sides. See this right here? It's coming. The tube is hitting it right. It's flush. It's right on there, and it's flush to the other side as well. And then I went and I added these um, these little stoppy things. We've all seen these in the in the race. They slow you down. So I put a couple of those on there to slow you down over that hill right there to uh to make it to where you don't fly over and i can adjust that checkpoint i can still push that checkpoint back a little bit as well even after you publish it and even after you save it you can still go in and and adjust things so don't worry about that so this is my second test run right here we're going up the hill hitting those boosts i want to see how the stoppy thing works bam perfect perfect put me right there that'll be really really fun if you have a whole bunch of people you'll be crashing up right there if you, did, <laughs> if you, you know everyone's be getting pissed be raging out hit that I adjusted my angle once again, I can adjust this again but you know it's a certain level of skills that has to be put into these races you don't want to make them too easy uh, I didn't adjust that road right there it wasn't too major I wanted to kind of just show you what this looks like but you can go back into it uh, my big thing right here was the ramp and uh, this is flush it's perfect perfect hit that go into the next one it was flush onto the next one hit that bad boy uh, but I think I over I overshoot it yeah I think I still overshot the uh, bullseye <laughs> Did I? Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> tried to get it in there, but I couldn't. But it's okay. It puts you back right here. That way you can gain enough speed. And once again, you know, this is like a level of, you know, oh, I got it. You know, it's a point to point. Ah, oh, I messed up again. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, I got it. I got it. But no, you didn't hit the bullseye. But remember, all this can be adjusted. You, you can run it with your friends a few times, get their feedback, and come back. And if checkpoints need to be moved or certain things need to be tweaked, you can do that, you know. But with a few minor adjustments, you can get the hang of it. And uh, and that's pretty much you know the the gist of it. And you can publish it and save it, and you are good to go. Um, and you know, so the, once again, there's so many options we have. There's so much stuff we can do. This is really really fun. It's really really cool. Uh, so I think this is actually a really good update. It's a really good DLC. I don't think you know that this is a waste at all some people are not liking it. i think it's great i really do so i really enjoyed this i hope this tutorial helps you guys out if you got any questions please let me know in the comments below uh you guys know what to do make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game and make sure you smash i mean smash that like button and stay dangerous peace